This is James Com, the guy on the bike. Welcoming you viewers all back for another half-assed production. And today we're coming to you from David Zwerner. We're gonna take a look at Leo Rausch. So this is the well-known German painter Neil Rausch, and uh, viewers of the Calm Report probably remember my program that uh, presented his exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum last year. I think all these works are from 2007-2008. Within the last month or so. We New Yorkers have been swamped with a bunch of very, very popular German painters doing very large paintings. And I've already had a program on Andre Butzer. I've got a piece on Jonathan Mies in the pipeline. And also a show that was here last month by a gentleman named Daniel Richter, who also does huge paintings. This is Kronig 2. This is Das Plateau. This is 83 by 118 inches. This is a 19th century German naturalist. We've got this little paint box, pencils. We've got this strange little line of insects flying up to space. This is kind of nice, a strange, disproportionate head. And this change of colors for his drawing is very interesting. This is Kronug 1. Now, I enjoy Neil Rausch because I think that he's also obviously very familiar with German art history, but he's kind of picked up on the influences of some of the German painters that are not well known outside of Germany. And some of these pieces make me think of painters like Spitzweg. It was very impressive to see a group of paintings this size in a nice gallery setting like this. This is parable. This is a very moody piece. It kind of made me think of a Caspar David Friedrich with these uh, kind of looming murky skies. And I know that in his last exhibition here, he had several paintings with allegorical themes, and I, I said in my review that I wrote that a lot of this is dealing with the, the problems and the challenges of being challenges of being a painter. Here we've got a painter with his paintbrush, got a noose around his neck, tied to the easel. Of course, this is a fresh canvas, so maybe it's been painted over. This is Der Garten 
there's this build house and these little rays of yellow green light coming in on the side are really dynamic I was thinking that one of the reasons people have taken up Neil Rausch is that the Berlin Wall fell in 1989 and now people are looking back on that whole period with a certain amount of nostalgia and I think that Neil Rausch actually does play on that a little bit and as crappy as the Berlin Wall was in the Iron Curtain 20 years later there is nostalgia for it. Kind of like us looking back at disco. Now, I think the difference between Rausch's painting and someone like a Jonathan Mies or a Andre Butzer is Rausch is a very thin painter. This is very flat. But you'll never see a big glops of Turn thick paint hanging on these that you would see on a Bunser or a Mies or a Richter. As a matter of fact, I should probably splice in a couple of examples of those other painters just to give you an example of what the big German paintings these days are looking like. One of the other interesting things about a Rausch painting is that they seem to have several vanishing points, several different spatial planes that are kind of incongruous. They don't all meet on the same, same pictorial level. This is Aufnahme. This is Entfaltung, 2008, 118 by 98 inches. And a lot has been made of the fact that Rausch grew up in East Germany and studied at the now famous Leipzig Academy. And a lot of people think that his imagery was a kind of a satirical take on socialist propaganda. These sets of wings here are very interesting. This is almost looks like something that was collaged on. And here we've got another allegory of painting, the paint box. Artist with colored pencils and collage paper. This is the Stickerin, 118 by 165 inches. This is the largest piece in the show. But I think this really does show you a good example of some of his work that does kind of present images that might be taken from socialist propaganda. It's like the East German Betty Ross making the flags here. But he always is throwing in his little touch of kitsch. That's fun. Let's take a look at some of his details here. Well, I just asked the receptionist about the prices, and she was very tight mouthed. But she did say that the prices were not published, but everything is sold. So that's Neil Rausch here at David's Werner. Thanks, Kate. <laughs>